Hello everybody, welcome back to Dwarven Kingdom. Order is talking again. I, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of chunk error. Oh. So I have 15 chunks, so. I don't know why it's doing this. Maybe if I that real quick. Okay, um, I don't know why, but this chunk won't load in. And hold on, oh, shut up. Alright, um. Oh, hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on. <laughs> Ow. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot to shut my door. And I apologize for any coughing you hear. <coughs> my allergies are still really bad. I mean, I took my allergy medicine and I ain't doing nothing. Probably should have grabbed some more mushrooms, too. I really don't have a lot of food. I see a light over here. Okay, I need something to open this with. I don't have anything to open it with. Um, I need to give myself some more torches. So there's got to be some sort of lever in here. Oh. Lever or button. <laughs> in here I need to find. Gold friends. Gold ore. Cheese it, it's prog in my head. Cool. Not cool, you idiot. They're gonna lock us up and put us in the in the creeper pit. Oh. That's a good thing, right? Hello? Oh hi dwarves. I forgot the names of Oh, it's just you guys. What did you want to taunt us? <coughs> no, we were just trying to find a new place to live. Well, you can't stay here, we already claimed it. But didn't you guys already live? Cosma Wera? We did, but then we got kicked out for cheating. Thought you said you cheated before. Yeah, but when you guys won without cheating, we made Wera fam see how bad cheating is, and she decided to ban cheaters from the city. Why don't you just go to another Cosmonoian city? Because January here thought it was a good idea to steal some of Fox's gold. That's not true. I just thought I needed a vacation. To a gold vault. So why are you guys moving? I honestly don't know. Me, my grandfather just found something odd about our friend here and he kicked us out. Wait, something odd you say? Yeah, something odd on his hand. Jem Feber grabs you by the hand and looks at, oh, oh no, what is it? I know what causes this and it's not pretty. Your friend here drank some of the juice. Oh, juice? I'd like juice. Can mine be strawberry? 
This is the stuff Hoarder uses to turn dwarves into bedrockians, an army of gas over from the group. Mac, grab the weapons. We got a bedrockian to smash. Cool. No, I won't let you hurt Taku. Your friend is turning, and there's no known way to cure the illness. You have to kill him before he destroys the whole kingdom. My friend is not a monster. He is a hero. I will stand by his side no matter how, th how things seem. Okay. You can keep your friend, but don't expect us to like it. Come on, Mac. Let's head west. Cool. Can we bring some gold? Sure. Okay. Please don't kill me. I don't. I don't want to die. <coughs> Excuse me. I would edit it out, but I'm coughing so bad that it's um. There's no point to it. Oh God. I'd really hell if I find an inner chest soon. Uh oh, dark sided. See end. All right, let's just walk straight line. Gotta remember not to bounce because I might miss a thing that says off dialogue. Inner chest. Thank God. Did I not have a bow and arrow before? I, I didn't. Oh wait. Uh, hold on. Come in. Okay, there we go. Hello? I wish King Vero will make art for us. He will be missed. Ugh. Alright. Better bow. It's got infinity on it, so I only need one stack of arrows. My armor. Alright, and uh, joke on gas. Do I need anything else from here is a question. I'll keep this axe for now. In case I need it. Little shovel. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not gonna need anything else. If this is the only way I can go, well, I can go back, but. Ah, uh, head editors! <laughs> Ow. That actually hurt. Okay, watch out for the lava. One of my friends are over there. So, should I go here first? Well, it says, you can't go this way. Oh, I thought it was one of my friends. Whatever it says the same on the other side. <coughs> to the battlefield. Oh, I don't want to go that way yet. Ow. There's a lot of people in here. He goes up to a second layer. I just I don't see how to get up to the second layer. Like nothing in here. Has to come with. Yeah, I must say. Okay, I tried at least.
has to come with. I was born in this town, I'll die in this town. Nope. I'm safe and sound in my own home. Okay, this person had a book. I know I still need to check that side. Welcome, and I got a pressure plate that can be placed on Gord Or. Excuse me, sir. Do you know how the directions to the park in India? Eh, of course I know, but it's not like the king will let you in anyways. What in the park are you talking about? Well, that's the name. Hey, that's the name of the kingdom. Many passages are blocked during time of war. Considering the battle recently been happening with the north, the king won't let that happen. The north? Yes, the northern kingdom. Probably property of Hoarder, the breaker of bedrock and bones. A master manipulator with slaves that cannot be defeated. He's conquered more cities than you would imagine, and made his kingdom the largest in all the dwarven caves. He's been launching a large-scale attack on the eastern dwarves. He's claimed half of what was once Benero's undefined kingdom. <coughs> he came out of bedrock. He burst through the blackened stone. As soon as he sh showed up, he, ma he made known that he was a threat. He destroyed what was once my hometown and built the Tower of Emerald in its place, from which he rules the mass beings. If they are not dwarves, what are they? Nobody knows exactly what the bedrock are. Maybe monsters? Maybe undead? All this knows is that they're jerks, so I don't like them. Wait, your face. Your face has scraps. Meadow touch. Are you who I think you are? You mean Laura? Loras? The guy who got shot after chasing a team of humans? You're a hero. You have the massive Venero back from the Thea's of Neflava. <laughs> I cannot say these names. You won't be calling me a hero if you knew where the, what that mask was. You knew where that mask was now. now. Look at me now. My body is made is that of metal and wire. My veins carry electrical signals instead of blood, and my joints are that of nuts and bolts. And off of the mask of arrow, turn up right where it began. The grimy hands of thieves and murderers. You need to fight in this uncommon conflict. What? Order of threat and the safety of the dwarven people. He must be stopped at all costs. I ain't risking my life unless cheesecake is involved. What if I give you some cheesecake? I'm down, Decca. Please don't. Have to, Rebecca. For the good of the underground, and all who live it, we will fight in this war. Well, it'll help me get to the Hawk Boy quicker. I mean, so am I just because. You are a fool to join the war of your own free will. The bedrock is indestructible, and those who are. There are few who can break it. Call me a fool all you want. I will fight for my people's hope and freedom. Decker rocks. Okay, I'm going to start from this end and go that way. Oh my god, whatever's over here is lag city. Nothing in there. I'm busy. Okay. There we go. But whatever's coming, take me down. My work in this city is too important. Yeah, whatever is on the other side of this wall is lagging me up really bad. Why would I want to come with the likes of you? Because, yeah, it's like the instant I go closer to the area, it's like, oof. Town where the robotic hair lips will not fall. <coughs> Stupid allergies. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't think I can get up to the second floor.
Why would I leave my home? No way in this one. Yeah, I don't think it's even possible to get up to the second floors. Or the third floors. I just want to make sure there's not like any... Anything in there? Yeah, lag city. Like somebody got themselves stuck. What in the world is that? It's like raining here. How is it raining in here? That's weird. I don't think there's anything on this side. <coughs> either. Either. I'm, just, I'm not going to bother to check. Where am I? Right, this way. Get prepared for Lag City. Passage, so I can't go in there yet. It's on my cart here for some reason. To the battlefield. I have no clue why I was lagging so bad there. <coughs> okay, it's already at 15 chunks. Oh no! Why do you light you? Why do you light you? Well, howdy boy. TP Bop, I'm Commander Bip Boy. Bring you folks to Sandlands. We must join the battle. Well, that's a gippy bippy do, isn't it? Grab a light and light on down. Lycha, why did you guys say go put it on? Could be bits. Whatever. Right, I'm gonna die. I hate this. Ow. Where am I? Did I actually do it? Yes! My helmet's about to break. In fact, I'm gonna turn it off, take it off because it's Harold the Turtle. Credit to uh, Madness64 for the boat designs. Cool! <coughs> Oh, there's a battle going on. Hey, 
Okay. Get the feeling I need to be on all those books. So much lag. Alright, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head back over this way. Because I think I was supposed to land on the first boat that has a beacon in it. Which would be that one. Can't even fly, there's so much lag. Alright. There's just a beacon on here. So where am I supposed to go? Oh, phantoms. <coughs> Seriously, where do I go? I went around the corner. And there's just beacons in the these ships. Spawning phantoms. There's just a lot going on in here. It's very laggy. Oh. I'm supposed to land here. This is not very bright. Actually, no, I wasn't supposed to land here. Where was I supposed to land? Oh, I see it. I see it now. Go down. Bows. I got a nice bow already. The plan. Well, now ye skippy puppies. My name is Commander Bitbop, and this is my Bitbop plan. Sure, victory. First off, we gotta get. I am not saying this. We gotta get some explode from the big ship on the middle. So this is from the big ship. Now look into locket levers. So we gotta get. The lock is locked, so we gotta get some levers from uh, other ship dudes. Okay, I gotta read this guy. Next, we gotta activate the explosive by shooting arrows at the buttons above the light car's head. It's gonna explode the boy right. <clears throat> then we advance to the opposite side of south, North Kingdom. That's what I. That's what I said. Be careful, the phantoms are flipping out out there. You don't want to get. Oh God! Go in there. You too. I don't want you. Okay. Arrow box. Food box. Food box. Oh. Hi. Bobo. To arena. Guess he's back. What do I do? Because <clears throat> <coughs> all it says is summoning the phantoms. Where do I do I go down there and like fight? Yeah, that was not good. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh no! Why did I spawn all the way over here? I clicked the wrong thing. I was trying to throw it into peace peaceful real quick. I clicked the wrong thing. There to you again. Order, shut up. Okay. I still really don't have no clue what I'm supposed to be doing. The only thing I can think of is that I need to get to the beacons. I'm sick and tired of dying. Do I defeat them? I hope I didn't just do it bad. Like I said, emerald ore. Okay, I'm not doing this in the elytra. I can't. And it Add to that. I can't even fly. And creative. Because it's so it's so naggy. something on the ships. In the world is this emerald ore? Where is it? Maybe you put in the non lidded ships?
Oh, hello. Hold on, I, I want to make sure there's not a little bar in here before I do this one. <coughs> nope. So it's in certain ships. You get levers for certain ships. So I'm not entirely sure how many more I need. Hold on. I don't want to cheat and not get them. Well, where do I? Oh, here we go. If you can do an elytra and you want to do this legit, I, I don't blame you. But I, I can't do it legit. <laughs> In fact, you got my armor. Actually, I think that was the last one. Okay, let's get in here. And then I'm going to jump back into survival real quick. Missions. Mode. Survival. Take explosives. Okay. They didn't give me anything. I get the feeling it was supposed to give me something and it didn't. So I don't have no clue what I'm supposed to do now. <coughs> Supposedly I took the explosive, but what am I supposed to do with it is the question. Up there? Is that where I'm supposed to go? Or is that where I came from? Pretty sure this is where I came from. Yeah. And that would have been nice to know that was there.
Okay, this is one of our ships. Okay, what I'm going to do, because I think this was supposed to give me something, and it did it. I'm going to go down here and break some of the bedrock. Okay, it says set mine stone red torch. Redstone torch. What are those coordinates? You're gonna have one, twelve, one, nine, zero, one, one, five, negative nine, one. Alright. Um. <laughs> There's nothing here. I think it was supposed to activate this one. But did it for whatever reason. What do you think you're doing, tall dwarf? Come to think when I saw a dwarf your statue beneath the cabins earlier. No matter, you're just doing some weird f force boss battle stuff that's not even the map maker under so many minutes. Too chill. This is the first adventure map I've ever posted. There's bound to be a few, few weird bits here and there. I can tell you what Biddy Boop's for. <laughs> just add an explosion thing. No. No, 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 no. No, no. Behind you. <laughs> the best of the North Kingdom. Whoa, that's a lot of blocks. It was for some reason the redstone wasn't working.
Okay, where do I go from here? Ah. Stay in creative, just in case. Oops. You dare to challenge the darkness? <clears throat> where am I? Hey, well, is it Altaco? Is your, or is your name the Crescent Rose? You had a nasty fall there, didn't you? That's okay. Old Zeke is here for you. I've come here to tell you something important. There are a few things that are about to go down pretty soon. There's going to be a few um, complications along your journey. <coughs> but there's nothing you need to worry your little head about. Let me tell you a story. There once was a man named Joseph. His father loved him very much and gave him many expensive gifts. His brothers were jealous of his many gifts and they devised a plan to get rid of him. Without their folly knowing, they sold Joseph into slavery to a foreign master. Whilst there, we were false clues of sleeping with the foreign king's wife. He was thrown in jail for a crime he didn't even commit. However, suffering was not to last. One day, it was made known to Joseph that the land be would begin a great famine. The chance of the king, and the king didn't know what to do. Joseph told them they needed to gather as much food as possible for the great famine. The king put him in charge of the project. They gathered and gathered until they had enough to last the long famine. As for forward for his contributions, the king let Joseph out of jail and made him second over the people of the nation. Even his brothers got to see how far he got, even the slave youth was so to be. So you see, those who are hurt and abused will be trying to do time. In the background, you can hear bells ringing. Well, it looks like it's time for you to be on your way. When the darkness comes in, you may be in despair. When you don't see the light, you say no one cares. They keep climbing out of darkness and keep climbing up the stairs, and you'll see that someone is there. Alright, where am I? Very dark. door over there. The bedrock. There's a tree that stretches beneath the bedrock. A tree that grew years ago and that stretches throughout the underground. The first bedrock ends ate the fruit of this tree filled with lust and greed. They felt as though they needed more and then they dug. They dug and dug and dug, even through the bedrock stone. They found the center of the tree and ate until their bodies decayed into bone. It was then that there was a voice, a voice that came from beneath um, the unbreakable stone and said, put on the stone of bedrock chains and the chains that hold you to the world of desire and darkness shall enslave you. It was <clears throat> then that the travelers crafted their armor of bedrocks stone armor that tore their bones and broke the organs. They suffered a pain like that of death, but they did not die. They were angry and bitter, and they wanted revenge on someone, but they did not know what was causing their pain, so they did not know who to take revenge on. The voice said, if you wish to take vengeance on somebody, take vengeance on the dwarves of the upper cabins. They are the ones who cause a oppression and strife, and so they did. For centuries, the bedrock dwellers have led the dwarves to the upper caves of the bedrock and turned them into them. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here. Apple. Uh, is this supposed to be a, ma a map to a maze? Because I'm not going to be happy otherwise. Apple. Alright, I'm just need. <sighs> I'm going to write this down real quick. Because otherwise I have no clue what this is for. Message is received from 
plus one eight five five eight nine four seven. Okay, sorry about that. Um, all right. <coughs> Hold on, let me go back in a normal game mode. Do I go up this is the question. If I do, which side do I go up? Okay, not obviously not this side. Right, right there. Maybe this one, because this one's like double layered. Okay, so I'm in the bedrock cavern somehow. So either or, I've been kidnapped or I've fallen. Oh, fuck her. So glass. <coughs> Tell me already. Right. I don't know why that was a dying to that. Transformation one. Oh, hello. Take a while for the dark stone to turn to normal torture, bedrock soldier. The slow torture on one's mind is what makes the process interesting. The process starts with the first consumption of the purple juice. Drawer full consume the consume the liquid and want more. The more the drawer shrinks, the more the drawer grows. Drawer full keep getting taller and taller until he thinks he is bigger than all the other drawers, but that is when the fun starts to happen. The rest of the page is torn out. But I didn't drink any purple juice. At least not that I remember. Oh, that's just mean. That is so mean. Oh, I'm surprised I made that. <coughs> Hello, oh, Porter. Porter is watching. And so am I. Who is am I? Oh, well, fell off. Transformation 2. After a while, the dwarf will start to decay. Their skin will turn green and they'll start to rot. Their hunger for the purple liquid will drive them to find in ways other than the tree. Instead of fruit, they will desire meat. They want to eat other beans. Beans filled with the same curse that stains them. Now, I'm not talking about the purple fluid. I'm talking about something much, much worse. But the thing is, <coughs> uh, there hasn't been many more purple stuff. At least in my regard. I'm serious, I cannot remember drinking it. Afterwards, their skin will want more and more of the schedule composure will be real and their organs will increase to function. Their skin will be eaten by parasites and they will be in constant agony. But their soul will live on in the wrong corpse and they will suffer every moment of their existence. Their anger will start to grow. God, 
gosh darn it, I'm sorry guys. Oops. Alright, I'll that there now. So I like a witch. It's so freaking laggy, I'm scared I'm gonna fall off the platform. Then the darkness starts to take full effect. The bones of the walking corpses were carved and withered, turning black and bitter brittle. The remains of the hosts are then placed in suits of bedrock armor. Armor that crushes their bones or traps their soul forever. The only way to free the captive is to break the bedrock armor, but a task like that is impossible for mere mortals. They are then considered to be part of the void, the darkness where the beasts sleep. And will be indestructible warriors with hearts as hard as the bedrock they, that has dropped them. Two of them to be slaves to the ones who trapped them. Okay. Why is there water right there? Oh, I have to go up there. the withering corpses are sometimes left out of their bedrock armor and turned into something different. <coughs> their souls remain as a phantom of walking shadow, a dark tower in figure with slender limbs and bright purple eyes. The heart, the one over and remaining and decayed, will turn blue and will give them the power to phase through time and space. But this is an event that has happened only twice before, once when the with one of the first bedrock units and another with him. Him who? This hoarder was not an Enderman. He's the last time I checked. Unless they're talking about my character. Order is watching, and so am I. Sorry guys, I'm serious about the cough. Oh gosh.
Welcome, dear Red Eye, from the town of Harding Trees. Tell me how the plan progresses, the plan made by the beast. Although I have less than a shred of respect for you northerners, for their dark masses, soldiers of indestructible armor, I must say that your plan to unleash the nether is an idea I fully support. The dwarves of Zeph and Park have caused pain and suffering to the people of the south, and they will pay for what they've done. And as we have discussed, and as the dark in this promise, well, I, when we're done with the nether's forces, you shall take their harness. And how do I know you won't betray me like you've done with the billion, billions of Bedrockians? The Bedrock soldiers' minds have been corrupted and decayed. To betray them will not cause them harm more than the armor's pain. And when I rule the underground, I fear to rule alone. For lonely then I shall remain within the walls of stone. We shall rule as two great kings within the Emerald Tower. And your vengeance shall be had when they see your rise to power. Hmm... Is there something wrong, my kingly twin? Do you not trust my plan? Perhaps if mask I would remove to come to understand. How can I not trust you? My king. What? Wait, Hordor what? Um I think Hordor is the king? <clears throat> I'm confused. <clears throat> Sleep. Take a rest. She has been walking for a long time, from trees to the island to the hut, singing high. Why don't you lay down and take a nice rest? When you wake, you shall resume your quest. Alright, I'm gonna see where this takes me, but then we're gonna stop because we're heating the hour mark. <coughs> okay. See what's at the end of this. Welcome, your dwarf, to the nightmare down below. By now, should you realize the bedrock seed has sown? As you walk the darkened halls, please tell me what you need. Is your heart filled with love, or filled with lust and greed? They've been gazing in awe of their armor, darkness forged. Armor made of darkened black, darkened bedrock, stronger than diamond ore, and the suits of pain and anguish, they will start to rot. But do not worry, darkened dwarf lord, it is all part of my plot. Where do I go? Hold on. What a lonely king I be above the bedrock men. The darkness is so lonely when I don't have any friends. Oh, my bedrock soldier, don't let me be alone. Please accept my offer and sit upon the bedrock throne. What, what about my friends? I don't think I have any other choice. I don't see any other way out of this room. Required when you're distance 15 chunks. Um, it already is and it's laggy as heck. <coughs> I'm sure you know what you first must prove your worth. Not just anyone could rule the darkest place on earth. A king must be a leader with a part of bedrock heart. If you don't know what I mean, I'll show you where to start. Okay. So did I just portray my friends? I didn't want to do that. King must show great power over those he will control, and to break the place the hero lives with set failure in their soul. If 
prove yourself? I don't, I don't want to. I literally don't have another choice. Sucks. So you've decided to feel the darkness will. You have pushed the button that will break and maim and kill. And since you have pressed it, let me show you what you've done. To show you of your darkest deeds will surely be quite fun. I had no choice. There was nothing else to do. Oh no. Stand and watch in all of the power we both have. I say, voice the power to destroy the weak and use a bedrock hands. The power we will conquer and rule above the weak. I don't wanna. We will rule as inner kings and havoc we will wreak. Come on, come two, come three, come four. Come six, come seven, come eight, come more. From the depths of the bedrock we break through the floor. To claim the royal through murder, death, and more. I don't... How do I get out of here? I don't want to do this. When you call the darkness evil, I ask you what you mean. It's not good and evil, your perception of all things. The dire desires of my heart to me, I only find as great. And I take pleasure in watching the weak of drawers. So come one, come two, come three, come four. Come six, come seven, come eight, come more. From the depths of bedrock, we break through the floor. To claim the world through murder, death, and war. You said that already. Let me out. I don't know why you're wasping when this is all you're doing. You're weeping when you're doing this is all you're doing. It was you who pushed the button and set the lava spewing. No, 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 no. You unleashed the darkness and you're showing your war. I didn't have any other joys. The beast that lurks beneath the red axe soon will break through the earth. Oh god. No, no. Go ahead and warn them of the darkness you have sent. It's not like they will leave the town where darkest they have spent. And this I must tell you something. The red rock rules the earth. You make a great king. Nothing I can do. I. There is nothing I can do except leave. There was a, it was like I had another choice. It was the only button in the room. There was no way out. I am so upset right now. I don't know what to do. Ow. I know there was another set of doors over that way. All I can stand here is do is stand here and watch. I'm just I'm gonna head this way. I can't stand and watch this. I gotta. I'm going to look down here. Oh, the stories are open already. Hey guys, we're gonna find out what happens next time. I'm a bit upset about that. So please leave a like if you liked, comment, information, stuff, and more. I'm out, people. Bye.